QuickBooks offers a bunch of ways you can customize reports. This video talks about customizing summary reports. If you want to follow along, open the file called Landworks underscore reports overview. What you can customize in a report depends on the type of report you're generating. For example, the display options for summary reports are different from the display options for detail reports. And just as a reminder, summary reports show you high-level totals, and detail reports break down those totals to show each individual transaction. And in this video, I'll focus on changing display options for summary reports. Let's open an Expenses by Vendor Summary Report. So we'll go to the Reports menu, go to Company and Financial, and choose Expenses by Vendor Summary. If you don't see any data in the report, go to the Dates menu and choose All. This summary report groups individual transactions for each vendor and shows the total of all expenses for that vendor. Summary reports don't show each individual transaction that makes up this number. To customize a summary report, click the Customize Report button up the top of the window. Not all summary reports have all the same options. Some might have a subset of those shown here. So let's go over some of these options. This menu sets the date or dates that you want covered in the report. And for the demo, we chose all. But as you can see, there are lots of choices here. You could also select a customized range by entering a from date and a to date. The report basis determines how QuickBooks calculates income and expenses on the report. So you would choose cash to base calculations on the date the cash is exchanged, and choose accrual to base income calculations on the date you invoiced a customer and expense calculations on the date you entered a bill. This option, Display Columns By, lets you choose to display totals only, or you could choose a time period. So let me choose month and click OK to show you what that looks like. So you can see now that there are columns for each month. Let's close this report. And QuickBooks is asking if you want to memorize the report because you've made some changes. But we don't really want to do that, so click No. Let's open another report to see more options for columns. Let's open a Sales by Customer Summary report. Go to Reports, go to Sales, Sales by Customer Summary. And again, let's choose All. And click Customize Report. And we can see that there are more options. Display Column By setting. So now there are, in addition to the time periods, class, rep, item type, and so on. As an example, let's choose class. And click OK to see what that looks like. So here you can see there are columns for each class and a column for those that have not been assigned a class. Let's close this and click No and reopen the Vendor Summary Report. Expenses by Vendor Summary. And let's go ahead and click Customize Report. And let's talk about the Add Subcolumns 4. So here you can add subcolumns that show time periods and changes in amount or percentage. So you could compare figures to the previous period and you could show the dollar change and or the percent change. And you could compare with a previous year. Same thing, dollar change, percent change. For year to date column, you could show percent of year to date. There are two other options, percentage of row and percentage of column. Percentage of column adds a column to show the percentage that the amount in the row contributes to the total of all amounts in the column. Percentage of row adds a column to show what percent one figure in the row on the report contributed to the total of all the amounts in the row. So here's an example of percentage of column. Let's say you have two sales reps that you want to compare. 
you can see what percentage each sales rep contributes to your total income for a given time period. By adding a percentage of column to the report, you see the rep's percentage of the total. And here's an example of percentage of row. Let's say you run a nonprofit after school theater group and you need to find out what percentage overhead is of your total expenses. You created three classes for overhead, fundraising, and programs. To see the percentage of overhead, create a profit and loss by class report. By adding a percentage of row to the report, you can see the percentage of the total expenses that each class represents. Let's cancel this and close the expenses by vendor summary. I'll open a profit and loss by job report and click customize report. And here you can see additional options, percentage of income and percentage of expense. Percentage of income shows the percentage, the amount in the row contributes to the total of all your income. Percentage of expense shows the percentage, the amount in the row contributes to the total of all your expenses. And the final options sort by, this determines the column to sort by. Your choices depend on the type of report and not all reports can be sorted. So if you don't see a sort by menu, the report can't be sorted. And then there are the sort options, ascending order or descending order. Let's cancel this and close the profit and loss by job report.